big salute to all of my veterans out here, man. Big shout out to all of my subscribers. Man, let me talk to somebody out here today. It's Wednesday morning, and I'm out getting to it bright early in the morning. So, Wednesday morning. Man, let me talk to somebody, man. Who formed a business last week or this week? Who actually formed a LLC, got their EIN number, and opened up their business bank account last week or this week? Man, I hope somebody, and I hope I'm talking to you out there, the person who hasn't formed their LLC, got their EIN number, and opened up their business bank account. I'm talking to you right now. You might want to get off your ass. You might want to get off it quick, fast, and in a hurry. You know, you might want to do these three things. You might want to commit, execute, and be obsessed about what you want to do in this world. If you got kids, your kids ain't going to appreciate you working every day that nine to five job going in to work coming home complaining talking about how much you hate your job then you taking out your stress you taking your stress out on your kids you don't even want to come home and talk to your kids because you at work so hopefully i'm talking to you right now i need you to get off your ass right now Form your LLC, get your EIN number, start that business bank account, and start doing some type of business. It don't got to be in the trucking industry, but that's what I do, and I do things now outside of the trucking industry too, but that's how I started, but it don't got to be in the trucking industry. Whatever it is you know that you can do and you can make money doing it and you're going to be good at doing it, that's what you do. So hopefully I was able to talk to somebody this morning, Wednesday, getting to it out here. Start your business for you freight brokers out here. Let me tell you guys something. The way you're going to fail at being a freight broker is basically not doing your checks on the carriers thoroughly too, right? So when a dispatcher or that owner operator call you to book that load from you, make sure that you're checking out that carrier. Make sure that you're making sure that they have an active authority, active commercial insurance, and good safety scores. Make sure that they had a million dollar general liability pol uh, liability policy and that hundred thousand dollar cargo insurance. Let me take a quick break, real quick. Rolling down the street, talking. <clears throat> Got to get these thoughts out of my mind today. Throat was dry. So anyway, active commercial insurance, active authority, good safety scores. You can get all of this information from the FM, FMCSA website, Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration website. And also, <clears throat> make sure you guys are being listed on the actual carrier's insurance too as a certificate holder and i like to get the actual insurance directly from their agent too because the fmcsa will let you know that they have active uh commercial insurance and it will also let you know if it's candle i mean canceled <laughs> or pending cancellation so you can get all of that through the FMCSA website, but if you guys go directly to the agent, 
and just get that information from the agent because you guys want to make sure that that commercial insurance is active because if not if you broker that load out to that actual trucking company and that load i mean and if that trucking company uh, insurance is canceled then that's going to give you a big prop you know that's why you also want to look into having contingent cargo insurance even though it's not going to be required from every shipper out here that you have contingent cargo insurance but just think about getting contingent cargo insurance or you guys could pay per load they do have different companies out here that will allow you to pay per load for contingent cargo insurance so I think that's the biggest reason why a lot of freight brokers are failing out here is because they are not doing the proper checks too with these carriers. Another big reason why I think freight brokers are failing is because you guys are failing to negotiate for the proper rate for that load. So by me saying that, it's saying that if you guys fail to negotiate with the shipper, you know, to make sure that you are getting the right rate to move that load, you guys would never get your loads moved. And if you get a move, you would never make any money because you are negotiating too low. You know, so you don't really want to come to the shipper with a, you know, an outrageous number too. So that's why you have to learn how to negotiate out here. So let's just say if you fail to negotiate, that rate might be too low for the trucking company to move it. <clears throat> and then it also might be too low for you to make money out of it. So the whole goal at any business in life, of course, is to make money. But you're in a business to making sure that you are negotiating for the right rate so that the carrier is going to be happy the shipper is going to be happy and you are going to be happy right so for you guys out there man i just want to put this quick video out there to you guys today if you have any questions hit me up on my text message 317-953-8943 and just take these two examples on why i believe a lot of freight brokers will fail you know because they lack negotiations, negotiating skills, and you're not properly doing the checks on these carriers out here. So just do those two things, and you guys will start out pretty good, man. Hit me up on my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. We'll get you 30 day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with Tash Transam Financial Services if you guys are looking for a factory service out here. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.